Hey everyone, this is the second update on what I've been up to for the last three weeks on the Jane Cast project. There was an issue with the V2 version of the first trombone mouthpiece that I made. The STL file was too large and there was an error on the print, and the entire print was filled in solid. Kevin also let me know that the shank of the mouthpiece went too far into the trombone for the letters to be on the shank, and with that in mind I remodeled the mouthpiece to ensure that the lettering was on the cup of the mouthpiece instead and then sent that through for printing. While waiting for the print, I started and finished a side project for Kevin and then started working on modeling a trumpet stand. I finished the basic version 1 of the trumpet stand the next day, but it had too much plastic so I started working on cutting small triangles into the mesh. Once that was finished, Kevin requested a version of the trumpet stand with more organic shapes and even more plastic removed. The next day, Kevin let me know that the V2 version of the first mouthpiece was printed and working perfectly. He said it was good contender for the Meridian range. Now that the first mouthpiece shape was acceptable, I used that as a base shape and spent the next day or so fixing up the remaining trombone mouthpieces. Once they were finished, I sent them through for printing. I resumed working on the new trumpet stand. I tried variations of spirals, curves, and sculpts to get a more organic shape cut into the side of the trumpet stand. I didn't have very much luck with this, however, as I kept running into an error where the mesh wasn't cutting into the shape properly, and then when it was cutting in correctly, there were some question about structural stability once the model was printed. With Preston's help, I got a version of the trumpet stand that was mostly complete and that Kevin was happy with. My last task for the trumpet stand was to extend the cuts into the base of the stand and to make the trumpet stand into one solid print instead of multiple prints, an example being the cone, base, and legs separately. After that, the trombone mouthpieces were all printed, and Kevin categorized all of the mouthpieces that I could get to work on adding the appropriate acronyms to the opposite side of the mouthpieces. For the last week, I was working on product images for the website. I did this by rendering mouthpiece images in Blender and using image editing software to superimpose one image onto the other. And that concludes the third blog update on the Jane Cast project. Thank you for watching!